About 80% of people who want to start a YouTube channel never actually do. So today, I'm going to show you how to create one. My advice? Start, even if you don't plan to upload anything right away. The important part is taking that first step. So let's dive in. First, head over to youtube.com. In the top right corner, you'll see the sign in button. So you're going to click on it. Now, if you had previous emails, click on use another account. But if not, it should take you straight to this page where you then see create account. After clicking it, you'll see three options, a personal account, a child account, and one for work or business. Typically, you choose personal for a regular YouTube account, but I recommend the business account as it gives you some extra perks or advantages. One of these perks is allowing multiple team members to sign in without accessing your personal Google account. But in the case of personal use, sharing your password would give them full access to your Google account, which isn't ideal. Another benefit is that you can have a different YouTube name from your Google account name, which is great for privacy. Here you can use the free at gmail.com option. Enter your actual name here, or whatever you feel like, as it won't appear on your channel. Fill in your birthday and gender then hit next. On this page, if you don't have any previous accounts, it won't be like this. So we're going to click on get a Gmail address instead. Now, create your own Gmail address by entering a username that will come before the at gmail.com. You might need to adjust it if it's already taken, but there will be available suggestions based on your previous entries. On this page, you'll create a strong password and hit next, then you'll need to verify that you're not a bot by entering your phone number and the code sent to you. If you don't see this next step, it's because you don't have any previous emails linked, but if prompted, you can skip the recovery email step for now. In the privacy and terms page, you may read and scroll down and hit I agree. Now your Google account is all set. You'll see an option to set up your business profile, but let's hit not now. This should take you back to the YouTube page. At this point, if you look closely, you'll see an icon is currently showing, which means your account has been created. Click on this icon and select create a channel. Enter a name that will be visible to your subscribers and a handle, then hit create channel. If that name is taken, you'll need to choose a different one till you find one that is free. Congratulations, you now have a brand new YouTube channel. But wait, there's one crucial thing to do that will allow you to create custom thumbnails, live stream, and become eligible for monetization. Click your icon again, then go to YouTube Studio. From there, move over to the left sidebar and click Settings. Click on the Channel tab, then Feature Eligibility. You'll see that the first feature is already enabled, but the other two are not. For intermediate features, you'll need to verify your phone number which only takes a few minutes. For advanced features, you can either do video verification, upload a photo of a valid ID, or build trust by following community guidelines over time, which usually takes about two months. If you want to create another channel under this Google account, perhaps for a different niche or a shorts channel, click on your icon again, then go down to settings and select create a new channel. Enter the new channel's name and hit create. Now you're ahead of the 80% that haven't started, but you're going to need to learn about how to grow your channel fast to make money on YouTube. So like and subscribe and click this video on screen to learn how.